Over the past six years, we have refused to shut our ears to the distant cries about a terrible crime against the humanity of the African child. We are unable to live as if African dehumanization will resolve itself. We are the generation in pursuit of economic freedom in our lifetime, and this is our legacy. I'm <laughs> As we are not are in Panga, Ga October. A postman, a Bacumarela, Petro Pamana, Kamazanga, no Kazimis of Pamana, a Diapa, Achipindu Wanga, President Malim. The public health care in South Africa has collapsed because it is in the interest of private health care. The private health care is milking our people and it is becoming extremely expensive, excluding those who do not have access and in their majority are black people. <laughs> Um, my Then the being me and the window live very difficult. Being affected in the lay of course, being Safara Logos Bobon, Augusto Munduia Safara, being Safara was a busy, busy voter. Figures cuts with some funnel selling carve and in funnel game seventeen. Luckily, on on seven June, still twenty fifteen, then Babesebang for Nella a Johannesburg head office EFF. Um, for appointment ya to hotel a waterfall hospital mankumbula kahle ngathi ngilele 9 days without waiting to be in government as the EFF we have gone out of our way to provide medical assistance to those who would ordinarily have been unable to gain access to the expensive medical attention their cases needed we have dismally failed to ignore the fire in our bellies of historic injustices against the african child ndi phanda jeli bua ngamanda zwe vanyitela zwone the <laughs> Comrades an organization or a government that can take care of disabled people it tells you that you are nothing because you must be able to do for those who can do for themselves. Then we'll trust that for all of us who can do for ourselves, you'll do much better.
de IFE, ik ken jij in 2015. En we met op hem ja en daar ga je was zijn baggies en wheelchairs en hij fixt dat elke kitchen. The economic freedom fighters proudly contributed to the upgrading of the Helen Bishop home and the well-being of the children in its care. Long live the spirit of Ubuntu. Long live. So it, it did a very great job for us. They renovated this place in three days' time, a record-breaking time. They gave us a new stove, they gave us all these cupboards in here. So they did a very great job for us and we are very pleased with it. I was impressed, very impressed with uh, Mr. Um, Malema because he came in here and he wasn't, no fun fair, no nothing. He came in just casually dressed, nothing red or anything. He came in and he chatted to us and he looked at the children and he was here and he said goodbye. That is the only politicians that have ever been here. Uh, no ANC, no DA, no good, no coke. It's the only EFF that has been here. I personally thank them for what they did. These children are very special to us. My children, it's Chris's children, it's Susan's children, it's our children. Disabled people are a high priority in the EFF. There shouldn't be a disabled person in South Africa, for instance, without basic education, without a house. And there shouldn't be disabled person without a job, particularly those that are trained. If we care about our people, you can only demonstrate that by starting with those who are disabled people.
Kwa I will never forget. What I love about the Sea is that I can't see not. Kwa I can't see it. 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 I can't So really, program door to door. Then Udulagara <laughs> Munkisha <laughs> Jopan <laughs> Mangusi <laughs> The
Viva EFF, viva! Viva Amku, viva! Lone Mill, together with the ANC government, has killed our people. And you must be reminded about that so that you don't forget and commit a similar mistake. You've got blood on your hands and blood of innocent people. The incident that happened uh, in Marikana Lone Mill in 2012 on the 16th of August was a horrible one where 34 mine workers were gunned down by the SAPS uh, in collaboration with uh, Lone Mill. After that incident, the president of AMCO, Comrade Joseph Matunjo, made an appeal to the National Executive Committee of AMCO because of the fact that the families who were affected by the incident were left without anyone who's a breadwinner. During the Marikana massacre commemoration, the leader of EFF, uh, CIC, um, Juju, came and attended uh, the massacre commemoration. We made an appeal on that, I think it was 2016, and then they have committed to contribute one million rands towards the building of the houses, which was a huge contribution from the EFF as a party, and we really appreciated that contribution. Pakwe was gunned down in his driveway in 2009. His assassination came shortly after he delivered a corruption report to the late minister, Sikelo Shikeka. For the family, a three-year wait for justice is finally over. Leadership which was present on that day, it was CIC Julius Malema who was present during that day in my home. It was Secretary General Kotrich Gadi. It was the spokesperson Mpuisen Inlozi. These are the three leaders who personally made time to come to my home and hear the family of Mos Pakwe out. During that meeting, I, as the son of Mos Pakwe, on behalf of my family, started to discuss challenges that confronted our family. And I was happy with the stance and the leadership that was shown by the CIC, Julius Lomalema, during that visit, because he became resolute when I engaged him about our plight and challenges, when I raised what was confronting us and what the challenge was, we can safely tell you today we have roof over our heads and then our father's property was saved by the EFF. Thank you, Julius. Thank you, Silo. And this is my gratitude to you and the leadership of the EFF to say to some of us, you are the voice of the voiceless and we appreciate your stance and your intervention towards saving us as the family of the man who gave his all to the people of South Africa. The EFF paid and settled the bank home loan of Moss Parkway's family and stopped the bank from repossessing their home. Early childhood development must be professionalized and integrated into basic education system. Like years, I have a structure. I 
So my name is Koke Tsomunjani, uh, I'm doing my masters in politics here at Vets. When I was doing my honours, there was a possibility of me having funding, but the accommod I didn't have accommodation money. So that's where I decided, you know what, let me do my honours at the University of Limpopo. And then I get a call from the president, he says, hey, where are you? And then that's where I told him that, no, my funding, I couldn't secure funding for accommodation, etc. And then he says, no, come, and then we'll pay. Looking at how a student doesn't have to worry about accommodation or fees or, or that sort of thing makes you, you know, be able to pursue other things other than worrying about where you, you're going to be sleeping or he responded to emails from the university as to uh, when are you going to be paying and so forth. So I think the EFF coming into my life, it has changed my life. You heard me when I started, I spoke about the struggles of education in South Africa. And what makes me happy about that is that the youth are not fighting for the prices of alcohol to be reduced. They are fighting for access to education. On the 27th of September, when we woke up as a generation in pursuit of the free decolonial education struggle, we were never sent by anyone. But as a conscious generation, we took it upon ourselves to say we ought to fight for what we believe in. Upon us fighting, we were then arrested. I'm one of the students who were involved in this mass fall. It was a struggle where each and every student were involved in. Uh, even I, I was one of the leaders who led that struggle, which managed to shake up the country. Uh, we managed to get in contact with the EFF. The EFF got us lawyers and they represented us in court. The EFF uh, managed to get us a sponsor and the sponsor paid our fees. And yeah, we went back to school and we studied. And as I'm speaking, uh, I just graduated. I've learned that um, whenever one needs a buddy to lean on, it must be the one that's from the motherboard, which is the EFF. Because if it wasn't for them, honestly, I wouldn't be here. I. Oh, it makes me so emotional, like I literally wouldn't be here. So we remember all the activists whom are still languishing inside prison, particularly the name of Kanya Tegeshe, who is now finishing his two years. We thank the revolutionary commitment of the organization that has been able to assist us, and we wish that it continue to assist others. My controllers here looking very carefully at the situation. My name is Christina Sirite. I am 20 years old. And <laughs> when I was a little girl, I used to want to be a person who likes school in day <laughs> because there was I, I liked the way they dressed up. I thought they looked neat and everything and then I, I was like, ah, I'm gonna be like that. Only to find out that there was not a dream even because it, it was nothing. Um, and then obviously we know kids, they dream of being teachers. I also dreamt of that. So with me, like I think I had a lot of things in mind when I was growing because it used to be inspired by the people around me. And I didn't have the p bigger picture of what is uh, what can be beyond. what. Um, what other careers are beyond what I see? Hi, my name is Mosa Fosfiso and I'm 19 years old. So my dream was to become a pilot since the age of 9 years. There was a political party that came, approached me and they told me they would pay for me to become a pilot. And that political party was the EFF of course. Hello, my name is Hajira Mamakola Magama. 
I am 19 years old and I'm currently a student pilot, paid for by the EFF. So the EFF coming into my life, uh, they helped me a lot because of, uh, I never believed that one day actually I'll become a pilot. I had it, I had it in mind that I wanted to become a pilot, but there were no sponsors or anyone to uh, pay for me. So the EFF made it happen for me. So I'm very, very grateful for the EFF for what they did for us. And we're going to continue doing it for the other next generation, for them, for the EFF. You don't always get what you want, but somebody realized my dream and I would forever appreciate that because it takes a lot to believe in a black young child. Because even when I got into this industry and started studying, I was told that I should look into other careers because I'm way too short and I'm black and I'm a girl. So why can't I look into other things? So I am very happy that there was a political party, the EFF, that believed in me as a black child with nothing, who cannot even drive a car, but today I can say that I can get into the sky and fly a whole plane. I just, I, I don't know if I could have achieved this if it wasn't of the EFF and God and the prayers, because EFF just came, it's, it's like a miracle. It just like, boom, here I am. <laughs> Because I didn't even think that this could happen to me. I didn't. I didn't like. I knew there were kids from my school. Uh, Hajira. There's Hajira. Hajira is the one from my school who got the sponsorship. I was like, okay, nice. But then I didn't think that it could happen to me too. I, I never thought that it could happen to me too. And I'm really thankful today that I'm where I am because of the. Normally in December, the elderly people get deserted. Young people throw their kids on them. They forget about the elderly. So we say it as the EFF, we're not going to forget about the elderly because we have got a duty to put a smile on their face. Anjolo <laughs> She was a for Christmas, and a Lohona Kamala come for Rijan Kawana. Rijarabozi, and a Renarum Sapoti, the Gabakala, who are one looking one are now not a toma. Atoma Hatu, Adiam Hatu, Ratoma Lumutina, as a toma. Razor that to treasure sent your room to treasure Sepilena, Riskera Mulata, Rir Pampeli, Pampeli, EF Pampeli. Tobela Barisho, Nakichula, Rena, Rabatwa, Loren, and Rabalimi. Every recreated two so in Chiro EFF. EFF, a guerrilla relevant like Yuba Olo, Caro Reberi Hiradi Trekker or Dirle Mele, Rakadi Peu, and a Jan Rukuman, a Lord Rabatwa Mudend, the Kadi Chelte Jela Jaro Najela, Hersno, Raka Peu, Ravara Patal, and the Trekker or Salaras Nesero. So,
There must be something solid which will say the EFF was once here to restore the dignity of an African family. We must have a, a legacy project. Thank you.